Hey guys, Majefries here, and welcome to episode 140 of You Don't Win Anything with Kids. Uh, last episode, we beat Ipswich 4 1 at home, <coughs> excuse me, in the league with two fantastic goals from Thompson, a good goal from McConnor, and a good goal from Wilson. Today, uh, let me go back again, we faced Gillingham in the semi final of the Johnston's Paint Trophy. So let's get into the team selection as quick as we possibly can. Uh, I'm going to rotate the team a little bit for this one, I think. I'm going to put King in goal. going to put uh, Webster at right back. Um, where's Dodd? Hmm, maybe not Dodd. Let's tell you what, we'll put Webster at centre back. We'll put Grant at right back. Um, we will put Saville at centre back. And we'll put, oh, well, I guess we'll have to keep Jones at left back because there's nobody else. It's Klopmas, I suppose. But then he's good as a sub because of his versatility, so we'll leave it like that. Um, and I will make one other change, actually. I'll put Hoyson instead of, of Saville, and I'll put Saville in midfield there. <clears throat> and then on the other side, I will have, let's have Capetzi because he hasn't played for us for a while. And then on the wings, uh, we'll have Beckhold. I know we'll have Johnston on the left, Carino on the right, and then strikers we will have Vukic on the right and Francois on the left. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got that problem in my throat. Uh, bench: Quintarka, Klopmus. Uh, Pugliese suspended, so I can't have him. So I guess it'll have to be Robinson and Thompson and Beckhold. Okay, let's see how that gets on. King will be the captain for the day. That's cool. Right, players to look out for. They have Joe Garner. Um, and that's about it. That is literally it. Joe Garner. He's the only player I really know of who's a massive threat. So let's get into the match. Not much going on in the first 14 seconds. Just drilling and passing it around. And they're still passing it around. Come on, make a tackle. Make a tackle. Oh my life. I can't even pronounce that guy's name. Urban Chich. Urban Chich. Urban, Urban Chich. I don't know. All I do know is Gillingham nearly scored. Right, King distributes it to Saville. Now, I actually went to Brentford at the weekend, just gone. Um, although, I think by the time this goes on YouTube, it'll probably be after the weekend, just gone. But basically, I went to see Stevie play their last game of the season against Brentford. Um, and George Saville played for Brentford that day. And I must admit, he had a pretty good game. So... I'm encouraged to use him a bit more often this season. I think I've been a little bit unjust on him. Um, one of the reasons I've really been leaving him out, and I've started doing it with Capetzi now as well, is because Mantum has done so well in midfield, and so has McConnor. The likes of even McGregor, who was our first choice up until pretty much this season. Even he's been missing out this year because of how good McConnor and Mantum have been together. <coughs> and Delamont's been missing out, and Douglas Pringle's been missing out. So we've got so many players who could play in that position that haven't been. Um, I almost feel like Saville has to move on just to get first team football for his sakes, not for mine. Um, and at the moment he's going to have his work cut out because we are 1-0 down. Walroy Nelson has scored. First effort there from Pals. Not a good save from King. Palmed it straight out to Nelson who buries it in the back of the net. 
So now, 21 minutes in, was that? Or 22 minutes in, we find ourselves 1-0 down with some work to do. Come on. Come on, United. Francois headed to Capetzi. Blocked. Picks it up a second time. Into Francois. Through for Vukic. Very good ball for Carino. Good save from Swan. Now we have a corner. Out to the edge of the box. Carino knocks it in. Kirby with the header out. Hughes to Saville. Across for Webster. Back for Jones. Hits the crossbar. And goes over. <clears throat> that looked like a right footed shot there from Jones as well. Which is uh, quite a good effort considering he's left footed. <laughs> right, Garner on the ball. Garner still on the ball. Tries to pass it in. King with the save. Grant with the clearance. I'm changing the team's shape. I think we're being a bit swamped in midfield. So I'm going to go for the Majeffries 1 formation. Sort these two back over. And we're going to put Vukic up front, uh, in front of Francois. And see how that gets on. I think we need that change. Um, who did I have as the striker on the bench? Was it Wilson? Let's check that quickly. That was Beckhold. Okay. Okay. It's making me a bit nervous. Um, <clears throat> I wish I'd put a Wilson or a Morgan on the bench now. To help us turn this game round. I could regret that. Christ, I didn't even put McConnor on. Or Mantum. Although that's a good turn from Vukic. If he can find a good pass. And he does find Francois. Out to Johnston. Went for near post. Puts it over. Poor, 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 poor. Very poor. Grant is looking tired out there. It's not very good performance from us so far. That's 2-0 Gillingham. Really, really poor from us. Jake Kirby that time with the goal. Not very good from us at all. Just so easy. Hughes there should have done a lot better. Kirby runs through. No pressure on him from King whatsoever. And just finishes it into the back of what is basically an empty net. Even though there's a keeper there, he wasn't going to do anything, was he? Now Capetzi could potentially be in trouble. And he is. He's just been booked. Fantastic. Well, this isn't going on the highlights reel for the season. Grant with a long throw. Carino decides to pass it backwards to Saville. Webster with the effort. Curls it just over the bar. Now if anyone's going to score a long range shot in this match. I'd put money on it being Adam Webster. Because he can do that. Um... There's been matches in my test career as Portsmouth where I've played him as left back and a corner would come in and not much would come of it and then suddenly it would come to the edge of the box and Webster comes running onto it, left foot pile driver, bear in mind he's a right footed player, left foot pile driver straight into the top corner and that's kind of what I want to see in this match, just something like that to reignite the team and get them going again. Um, and at the moment that just ain't happening, no sign of it happening either. I've left Grant out there because I know he can be influential in big matches. So maybe he'll come good now when we need him. But um, other players, I mean, I could sub the whole team if I really wanted to. And if I could, because they're just being hopeless. I'm going to bring Klopmas on and I'm going to bring Grant off. I know I've just said about leaving him on, blah, blah, blah. But I just need something to change, something to be different in this half. Um, hopefully we got the uh, the wingers on the right way round as well. Although Carino is effective off the the left, and Johnston can play down the right naturally, so it's not a big deal. Keeper there with the save, Francois with the rebound shot, easy for Swan, very easy. Capetzi nearly getting in the way of that, and I think he was offside as well, so that wouldn't have been helpful. <coughs> Klopp was finding Johnston, comes off the back of Capetzi. Johnston had to play the ball twice. Now Klopmas down the line to Johnston. Cuts it back. Vukic's header, 2-1. Good goal. Back in the game, boys. We are back in the game. 
We are still in this. Still in with a chance. A draw will do. A draw will do. That is a great ball from Klopmas. And look at this dinked ball from Johnston. Picks out Vukic at the near post. All he has to do is glance it. And he did it perfectly. Fantastic header. Really good way to get back into the game. And now we've got someone who's effective in that right back position. He's good at crossing the ball. We've got players who are good at heading the ball. And that's another good cross. That could have easily caused problems for the keeper. If he hadn't been a bit more alert on that one. And a cross in. Vukic with the near post header again. But he puts it into the side netting this time. Again, really, really unlucky. Really unlucky. Uh, can I make any more subs now? Savile's the next one on the list, I think, of players to come off. He's only on 6.1. Everyone else is on at least 6.3. <clears throat> Webster and Carino are the other two poor performers. So I can see myself bringing Jones on, perhaps. Uh, not Jones. Um, Thompson. For um, probably Carino. Although, yes, we'll give him a chance here. We'll see what he can do here. If he can get the ball into the box, which he's just done. Picks out Vukic, 2-2. Two -two. Okay. I was a little harsh on Carino there. That was a very good ball in from him. Very good ball. He was under a lot of pressure from their right back there. Took him to the byline. See, the whole way down the wing there, he's been tracked and followed. Gets the ball in. Francois probably deliberately left that. I'm hoping he did because he was a long way away from goal. And that's a very good finish from Vukic. Right, sub. Um, do you know what? I'm going to bring Thompson on for Savile. And then I'm going to swap Thompson with Capetzi. And then I'm going to bring Beckhold on for... Um, for no, I'm not going to bring Beckhold on yet. No, I'm not. Leave Beckhold off for now. Just bring on Thompson for Savile. There's that change. See what Thompson can add to the team. Because he's, uh, he's good at attacking from deep, as you've seen. He's good at volleying the ball. Um, he's probably more effective down the wing than he is in the centre. But you never know unless you try it. Klopmas to Capetzi to Jones. Through for Klopmas. Good cross there. Francois 3-2. What was I saying in the first half? I have no idea. But whatever it was, it was wrong. This team are a team of winners. Um... Just as I say that, Jones has taken a bit of a whack. I'm not sure where that came from. Good leaving from Vukic in the middle. Must have got a shout from Francois. Great little finish under the keeper. He would have been there had he have dived, but he didn't. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing well in this game now. I'm going to make another sub. And I'm looking at Jones, and I'm seeing Jones's condition. So I'm going to bring Robinson on, and I'm going to swap Robinson with Klopmas. So we can have Robinson oops, at right back. I'm going to have Klopmas at left back. Klopmas did very, very well to help set up that goal. Took the throw in to Jones. Did the 1-2. Got the ball in the slip. Uh, made the run through the channel and then just dinked it to that back post where Francois was waiting. It was a sensational attack from him. He's done very, very well since coming on. I think I made the right choice to bring Grant off. <clears throat> Nothing against Grant, as you well know. I'm a very big fan of his this season. Just think that change needed to be made. And he was getting tired. So it was an effective change. Carino through to Francois. Back out wide to Carino. Now he crosses the ball. Again, Vukic could have got on the end of that. Took a last ditch block from the defender. Vukic on the ball again. Lays it off for Klopmas. He just he wrapped his foot around it a little bit too much. Saw the ball go wide. Where's my sub? Here it is. Robinson finally comes on for Jones. Jones has probably run himself into the ground by then. Alright, Crino with a free kick. Smashes it in. Headed on by... Was it Capetzi or... Yeah, it must have been Capetzi. I'm sure I saw a C there somewhere. Um, Swan with an easy catch. Robinson wins the header well there. Thompson to Capetzi. Out wide is Crino. Is he going to get another run, run in? He got dispossessed, but he won it back. Knocks it back for Robinson. Carries on his run. Thompson exchanges passes with Robinson. Now it comes through for Crino again. Back to Thompson. Dinked it into Johnston. Vukic. 4-2. And a hat-trick for Harris Vukic. 
That is a really, really good team goal as well. That is a fantastic team goal. Look at this ball from Thompson up to Johnston. And that was a block shot which led it to falling at the feet of Vukic. But that's still a fantastic team effort. Great, great play. Three very effective substitutions, if I do say so myself. All three of them playing a part in this comeback trail. Now it's Robinson with a block shot. Carino couldn't chase down the loose ball. Luckily for us, it's cleared into touch. Five minutes of the match to go. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes of the match to go. One minute in the match and three minutes of added time. Whew. That was tiring. Gillingham being forced into a sub due to injury. Um, I'm not sure what that throw-in was. It's going to go straight into the hands of King, though. We're in the fifth minute of injury time. So it's going to end very shortly. Very shortly indeed. Any time now, referee. King lumps the ball upfield. Petsy's missed his header, but luckily Webster's there. Poor pass from Webster. Or, more likely, poor run from Francois, because that pass wasn't actually that bad. Carigno finds himself on the ball. Deflects into the path of Francois. Cuts the ball back for Carigno. Back for Francois! Offside. Good to see Francois get a goal in this game, though. He is very consistent with his goal scoring. And we are into the final of the JPT. We lost the final last season, you remember, against Sheffield United. We are back in with a shout this season. So uh, let's progress this to the score screen. Um, I think our next match is another home game. Uh, and it is against Peterborough. And then we've got another home game against Fleetwood. So we've got two very quick episodes coming up. Um, so I'll wrap this one up very, very quickly. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your ever-continuing support. And until next time, I will see you soon.